Hi, pipe smokers. Yeah, this is uh, Paul Gilson, a.k.a. Paul the Pipe Guy, on the Paul Gilson YouTube channel. And today's date is December 5th, 2022, and this is part four of reviewing our uh, Cascadia Pipe Company blends. Um, in retrospect, we've already, they have five different plug blends that they make. We already did uh, open water. We did uh, Cascadia Trailhead. We did Campsite. And this is part four of five. Uh, and this one is uh, made by Cascadia Pipe Company. Uh, it's called Downwind. And uh, it's blended by the uh, Scandinavian Tobacco Group, and the country of origin is Denmark, and it is a Virginia Burley blend. As far as flavor, all I could find is it says other. Uh, so basically what it has, it has richly fermented, earthy, spicy Burleys and sweet Virginia, which uh, has been hot pressed uh, so they provide a lot of heat and press the plug together. Uh, it's 1.76 ounces, which is 50 grams. Uh, the strength is medium to strong, according to uh, the reviews I looked. The flavoring is mild. The room note is pleasant to tolerable. And then it says tolerable till strong. Uh, it does have six reviews. And out of uh, one to four stars, these reviews, there's six of them on the internet, it uh, came out to uh, 2.7. And uh, so uh, out of the six people, uh, four of them gave it uh, three stars, two of them gave it two stars, and I had to laugh. <laughs> the one, uh, one of the, one of the uh, people that was uh, doing a, rating on this said that someone ought to go to the Scandinavian tobacco group's lab and take their fruit bucket away. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing when I saw that. But some of them have fruit in them, some of them don't, you know. Uh, so this one obviously would most likely, I'm guessing, is an aromatic because it says flavoring other, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I, they're very secretive on this. So it is a plug tobacco, and let's open it up. It's got this beautiful cover on here that says uh, it's a big tobacco plant. It says vacuum packed for freshness, made in Denmark. It has the traditional little cupcake thing in there, which actually came perfect, but I've opened this a few times. And uh, yeah, here we are. Here's our plug right there. I keep it in a, a double locked uh, Ziploc bag and I squeeze all the air out and then seal it up. Uh, this uh, tin, I actually, I actually opened this tin on 8-29 of 2021 and today is December 5th. So well over a year ago, we're talking, well, you do the math, all right? I don't know, 12, 16 months ago. So that's what it looks like right there. You can see it, all the definition of the leaves down through there. Yeah, beautiful piece of plug. Oh. Now what I'm smelling I can smell the grassy burleys, but I can also, there's a very uh, good smell of the uh, Virginias, the sweet Virginia. They kind of balance each other off. Oh yeah. I love the way that smells. Why do I love it? Because I can smell the burleys, all right, but it's not burly overpowering, and it really 
coincides and uh, with the Sweet Virginias. Uh, they just balance each other off. So uh, I do have a bowl loaded up. This is a Peterson Dublin Edition XL24. It's Briar. I bought this brand new. Yeah, and it's a big bowl. It's a big bowl. You can see by my thumb, that's a big bowl. So I had to put a little bit in there. I've already done a char light on it. Let's set something on fire. Don't always believe what the internet says, by the way. Because the reviews are like buttholes. Everyone has one. Everyone has a different opinion. Hmm. Definitely full bodied. Mm. Ooh. I like this. It burns pretty cool. Why do I like it? I like it because wow, it burns seems to burn well. I can taste the Burleys, but here again, those Sweet Virginias, they just work in concert with each other, and they won't tell me what topping they put on it or what flavoring they put in it. Mm. Relaxing smoke. It's important to spend your time rubbing the plug out. I spent 10 minutes rubbing this plug out. There's videos online on how to rub plug out. Most of you probably know it. This isn't a video on how to do that. Oh, it's a nice, cool smoke. A little earthy and nutty, but then there's this undertone of sweetness. You're not going to get tongue bite from any one of these Cascadia blunts. You just won't. Now, a word of advice from Paul the Pipe Guy. And uh, I like to consider this uh, myself sometimes the voice of reason. And the voice of reason says... Now, the way I cut my plug up, right, I use a made-in-the-USA old-timer knife, probably from the 50s or 60s, made from charade. I keep it extremely sharp. Now, what I do is I have a dedicated cutting board. This right here. Dedicated. So, if you do not want to piss off your significant other, Spend 10 or $20, get a dedicated cutting board to process your tobacco plug, 
all right? Because I will tell you now, if you process and slice up your plug on the countertop or on the kitchen table or on the desk or on the coffee table, Your significant other, while you're sleeping, will stab you to death with your stomach. <laughs> so get something that uh, you're not going to cook on. I'm personally single, so, you know, I can do whatever the heck I want, you know. So, you know, I make sure I wash this off real good before I cook on it. But, you know, just get a little cutting board, whatever. I like to cut on wood uh, instead of them plastic things. And definitely don't cut on... They do make ceramic cutting boards that's going to dull the shit out of your knife. Okay? Words of wisdom from the voice of reason... Paul the Pipe Guy. Yeah, that is your little piece of golden nugget there out of this video. So, all in all, I really like this blend. I like it, as I shared with you before, cause, and I'm not a pure Burley lover, or really a pure Virginia lover, but uh, this Burley and Virginia work in concert with each other, and whatever topping <laughs> that they use, uh, I think it's a great blend. Um, I think the 2.7 uh, rating on the internet out of four would be a little low. I I would, it, it's reasonable, but I would rate it a three. I really would. And I would definitely buy this blend again. Uh, anyways, Paul the Pipe Guy, live from the outskirts of Rochester, New York, in the United States of America. God bless you all. Yeah, the land of the free. All right, so uh, that's part four out of five. And then we're going to do something that you all are going to love. Yeah. Paul the Pipe Guy, over and out. And hit the subscribe button if you like my video. Share it with your friends. Uh, any shout outs you can do, that'd be great. Hit the reminder button. You know, we uh, I come out with videos all the time. Yeah, some of them are music videos, so uh, it is what it is. It's a it, look, you get it. Over and out. And happy pipe smoking, pipe smokers. <laughs>